Welcome back guys. Uh, as you can see I'm sitting in front of a uh, fresh install on Puppy and uh, this the purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your printer. Now I'm going to use my printer as an example uh, but you'd use the same process. So the first thing you want to do is open a browser and go to the website of the manufacturer of your printer. So I am going to type in Brother Printers Solution Center. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's a downloads category. I have an MFC all-in-one printer. It's the J8 series. And so I'm going to click on the model, which is MFC J870DW. Now I want the Linux driver and I want the Debian version, not the RPM. So I'm going to search. And here you're going to see a LPR printer driver and a cups wrapper. You want both of those. Those are the two that you want. These are all scanner drivers. We want a printer driver. So I click on that and then I will need to agree to the EULA and download. I'm going to save the file and let's save it to uh, file system root. Oh, I don't see a download so I'm going to cancel that. Open up file manager and I am going to right click new directory and I'm gonna call it downloads okay so now I have a downloads folder and I am going to back up agree again save the file and this time I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. And as you can see, that's saved. So I am going to back up now because I need the cups wrapper. And so same thing, agree to the EULA, save the file to your downloads folder. and you're done with that. Now with Puppy Linux, Puppy has the ability, as long as you're running Tarpup, which is the Ubuntu based, so as long as you're running Tarpup and not the Slacko version, I can't speak for the Slacko version, never tried it, but the Tarpup 6.0 point two is the version that I have downloaded. Um, so now that you have the two, two drivers from the printer manufacturer, um, in order to process Debian files, Puppy needs a package called Debi, D-E-B-B-I. And if, if we type in Debi.pet, Alright, so let's get rid of that. Uh, so let's try Puppy Linux Debbie. I want to try to give you guys a way to search. Okay, so if you do that, it's going to bring up Puppy Linux Discussion Forum, How to Install Brother Printers and Scanners. 
because there was a topic on that. And if you scroll down the page, you're going to see Debbie-1.1.pet. What I want you to do is download that. And we're going to save it to our downloads file. Now, one thing I want to recommend is that every time you download a pet file, save it. Make a library because you never know. And keep it on a flash drive because you never know when you're going to have to do a, a fresh install or when you're going if you have a problem you'll or another install you'll have all these files so we're saving debbie so now we have debbie.pet and we have our printer driver and our cups wrapper driver so what we are going to do now, and I've the only thing I've done to this install is I installed Simple Screen Recorder and GUVC View. If you look in the bottom right, my uh, I only have Ethernet on this particular computer, but if you look in the bottom right, Ethernet was configured properly for my for my Ethernet right out of the box. I didn't have to do anything. That's usually not the case with wireless. But I think I took you through that process in my first video. If you have any uh, questions on that, let me know. But I can't do the wireless on this computer. I don't have wireless available. Let's open our file manager and let's open our downloads folder. Okay. Now, I'm going to open up another file manager window. and gonna go to my home directory so these here are in my downloads folder okay I want them to be for this purpose I'm gonna copy them into my root folder my home okay so I want you to drag one at a time and copy very easy. One at a time, copy. One at a time, copy. Okay, let's close that out. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to run Debbie.pet. So, yes, you click it. Yes, we want to install that. Okay, so now that that's installed, keep this window open. What I want you to do is open up a terminal. Click on the little icon in the bottom left, the little reddish one, and that will open up a terminal. Now, don't forget, in Puppy, unless you change to Fido or Spot, you are always in root. So, here's what we want to do. We've got Debbie installed. We need to install these two packages. The first one we're going to do is the LPR. Okay. Now, what I would suggest you do is in your terminal, type ls. That way you get a list of all of your folders in that directory. And you can see they're there. Okay. So, we're going to run a couple of commands. And we're going to start off each one with Debbie. Now the first one we need to do is the LPR file. So we're going to type Debbie space and then we're going to type out that file name exactly as you see it listed. MFC J870 DW LPR dash 3 Point zero point zero dash one dot I three eighty six dot deb. Now, and remember that this six o two is only available in thirty two bit. And as I said before, I installed the sixty four bit of the newest six o five tarpup. I had some issues with it, so you're better off going for the 602 32-bit and then running the upgrades. Okay, so now that we have that typed out properly, we're going to press enter. 
Now, don't pay attention to the to the uh, error message. Just look. Make sure you see post install script completed and done. Okay. Now we want to do the next file, which is the cups wrapper file. So all I do is up arrow, and I'm just going to change what I need to. So I'm going to back up DW, and then I'm going to type in cups wrapper. Okay, so now I have cups wrapper. I should have everything listed properly. I am going to press enter. And it'll just take a minute and that is done. Okay. So I'm going to close the, these two windows out and I'm going to click on menu and I'm going to click on setup and then cups printer wizard. Then click on manage printers. Now it's going to bring up a uh, pale moon web page and this is your cups interface. So you're going to go to cups for administrators and adding printers. Okay. So click on that. Then I want you to click on manage printers. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is go on to server and click sh share printers allow printing from the internet, allow remote administration. Okay, make sure you check off those and then manage printers. Now you can see I have printers listed here. Back up. Let's click on add a printer because it, it, it loads up the uh, basic files but for a Wi-Fi printer, which is what I have, um, I'm going to add a printer through the add printer link. And I'm going to go to the IPP address, Internet Printing Protocol. So if you know what your printer's IP address is, um, and you can find that out by going into your router, into your router um, administration page. Uh, so once you have your, your printer's IP address on your network, click continue. And then what I'd like you to do is where it says in connection IPP, you're going to put a colon, two forward slashes, and then the IP address. And mine is 192.168.1.7 on my printer, on my uh, network. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to give it a name, brother. And I'm going to give it a description, printer. And I'm going to give it a location, upstairs. Share this printer, continue. Now I'm going to click on brother and I'm going to click add printer. Now in the list of drivers, scroll down and you'll see the drivers that you installed. So I'm going to click the last one and click add printer. And then I'm going to click set default options. So printer brother default options have been set. Now I have a printer uh, configured. Right now we're all set. We're going to test it out. So let's go into our text editor and I'm going to pr print test brother printer. And then I'm going to file and print. And I'm going to select the one that I set up, Brother Upstairs, OK? OK, so now it just got the signal from the computer. 
and it is printing. And I will show you the finished product. So as you can see, test brother printer. Okay. And so that worked exactly the way that it should. So that is how you set up your printer. Now, even though I have a brother, whatever, um, whatever manufacturer you have, as long as they have a Debian um, dr driver files that you can download, you use that Debi package and you'll be able to uh, install just the way that I did. Now, the Puppy Linux Forum is your friend. So make sure you go there to download things like, uh, like this, the Debi file. Uh, do a search in, in the Puppy Linux discussion forum and you'll be able to find the answers. But that is how you set up your printer, guys. And uh, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. And I will do a few more videos on just the basics. And because as I said, I'm by no means a puppy Linux expert, but uh, I did go through a little bit of discussion here. So that is how to set up your puppy Linux printer. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Puppy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.